Hello everyone! So I'm finally back to filming and I'm super excited about it. Um, it's something that I wish I didn't stop doing but you know I just didn't have enough time. It's very time consuming filming one day and then editing the next. It's just it takes up a lot. So I'm just finally happy to I'm just finally happy to be back and this video is mainly going to consist of um, full glam on a budget. So probably almost everything on this video is going to be less than $10. The two things I will let you guys know that are obviously over $10 is the eyeshadow pa palette that I am using and also the highlighter that I did use. Um, the highlighter is like $20 and the palette is about $30. So just a disclaimer um other than that my brushes were less than 10 my foundation was about eight dollars concealer about five dollars mascara is like six or five dollars it really just helps you achieve that full glam look which i love like you might as well save money but still also look good so if you're very interested and like what you see keep on watching thanks okay so the first step is going to be our brows and i'm going to be using the nyx uh brow pencil in the color espresso I like achieving a natural brow look, so I don't really fill them in too, too much. Um, so I do start right about here. I want to start here and make your way back and focus on the tail. I do fill in the tail as much as I can just to make it sharp. And, and then I make my way at the top of the brow. And then focus more on there. So because it's more of a natural brow, I don't really focus on the hair down here. I spoolie that out later on. Just because I still want people to actually see my um, brow hairs. And I am more... I feel like I have like no hair at the top anyway, so it works out better for me. And that's when I gently start going to the scent, uh, to the beginning. So I gently move my way with a very, very light hand. And make everything look nice and neat. And then just, and I mainly just spoolie the bottom like I told you guys. Mm. I'm going to be using Maybelline. It doesn't have a name, but it's the number 10. It's a shade of light. So with this one, I heard it's a dupe of the NARS one, and it does seem pretty, pretty similar to it. So I just poured some on my hand right now, and I'm going to be using my Bare Minerals um, concealer brush. It is very tiny. I prefer using a very small um, brush for the brows, just because you can get in between the corners and really help shape your brow. So grab some with my hand. And I'm going to start from the very beginning. Tilt your head back. And just move across. So the purpose of this is to obviously clean up your brow. Make it just to enhance it. But also shape your brow. So I necessarily shape it into the shape I want actually growing out my brow hair in that area on the arch so obviously I don't want the actual shape so I'm just going to create an illusion of it so so bam and then I'm just going to connect the lines here and bam and just to make sure everything is nice and right. I'm going to grab a little bit more and then just bring it down. Just because I like an even base. And later on I do add eyeshadow base for my eyeshadow. 
So very, very lightly, I do outline the top just because this is more of a full glam look. Usually on everyday looks, I don't really touch the top. But today I will. So I'm just going to grab, I usually start like right here, tilt my head back, and then move along. And again, you're going to create the illusion of the shape you want. And going down. And again, making the tail as sharp as you can. And then I usually just start right here. And then for this part, I don't really make it as sharp or clean. I just kind of just blend everything. And I just kind of go back and forth between both brows and make sure everything is how I want it to look. If you want to add more color, you can. If you want to um, use a spoolie to brush uh, brush out your hairs you can I kind of just usually brush out my hair because sometimes I make it too dark at the top I just go back and it blends it all out so I'm using the NYX eyeshadow base in the color I think it's just 03 and I'm gonna grab my same concealer brush and put that all over the lid And I have a Morphe brush I use to just blend everything out. Blend everything out. So the palette I'm going to be using today is the Jaclyn Hill palette, the Morphe one. So I promise you this will be probably the only expensive thing I will be using in this video. It is like 30 something dollars. It's not that bad, but... Compared to all the other things I'm using, um, it is pretty up there. I couldn't really find a cheaper drugstore or an expensive brand um, less than $10. So this will do. And plus, I'm only using like three shades anyways. I'm going to be using the Morphe brush. So these, I apologize, these brushes are so old that all of the numbers wore off. You can only see the Morphe sign. But it's just a typical blending brush. So I'm going to be going in with this color here. And I apologize for my nails. They look like little boy hands. I hate not having acrylics or color on them. And I'm letting them breathe just because they've been through hell. Um, I had acrylics on for about two years straight. And never took a break. And I finally, I finally decided to take them off. And they're so weak. Um, anything that touches them, I feel like they just tear off. So grabbing that color and tilting my head back and just kind of just going over in a circular window that shape here getting some more back and forth then I'm grabbing this yellow color here Twisting that off and going over. I love yellows and oranges on my skin tone just because it really complements my complexion. And it is more of a go-to look of mine, especially if I'm in a rush. And we are going to do a very light nude smoky eye. So I'm going to grab... Another Morphe brush here in E28. <laughs> I'm grabbing this color here. And with this, I'm just going to create a deeper depth. So I'm just going to go into the creases with this. I'm going to use my Morphe brush. This color at the very bottom, it's more like a toasty color. Because this is a very dark brown, I'm just grabbing a very tiny, tiny bit. And the center, bottom, and then moving my way up. And blending everything out. Okay, so now that I'm done with both eyes, I'm just going to grab a cotton pad 
and just some regular mist. You can add put water on it, but I'm just gonna clean out any fallout. Just because I don't want that interfering with my foundation. And for primer, I'm using the NYX No Filter. So this one's really amazing just because it's super inexpensive, but also really help smoothing out any texture issues that you may have and blurring out any pores. And because I already put moisturizer on, it makes it easier to apply as well. Because my skin's nice and hydrated. So it just goes on a lot better too. For my foundation today, I'm using the Milani 2-in-1 Foundation Plus Concealer. Um, and the color Sand Beige number 6. Okay, and I'm grabbing a Morphe M224. It's just a regular foundation brush foundation brush I'm grabbing some on and then just dabbing it on my face I don't like using my finger because it does get obviously gets your fingers dirty and I don't like getting up to wash my hands if I'm gonna oh my god once I sit I want to stay sitting I try to avoid getting up for any reason so I rather just keep my hands clean I hate even getting up to wet my beauty blender. And it's like the most annoying thing ever. Put some there. And. Okay. Once that is on. I am grabbing my Morphe M439. I love this brush so, 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 so much. I used to use a beauty blender to blend everything in. But this, I feel like it stays... It just... I feel like it, with a beauty blender, it kind of wastes product. With this one, it does not. I feel like you use um, a lot more of your product. And it kind of just gets into your skin better, too. Oop, I forgot to start. Fuck me. Okay, so I love, love, love because I have more drier skin type. I love spraying my face first before I do blend everything out. So once my foundation is on, I just grab a facial mist. What is up with all these fucking hairs? Okay, um, once my foundation is on, grab my mist. And this is just, it's the Kiehl's um, Cactus Mist, but you can find any other mist. Um, just a hydrating mist would be nice. Not a setting spray, a facial mist. I don't want people coming after me. Um, and then you just grab your brush when your face is damp and then pat all over. I just love the look of a healthy, hydrated face. And it just makes your makeup go on smoother as well. Down to my neck. gonna go in another layer usually i don't with Milani because it's literally full coverage um but because i have a lot of scars i'm just gonna go over my scarring so i mainly have it like right here and then they are on my cheeks Moving on to highlighting your face, I'm still going to be using, where did it go? Oh, it's here. Okay, I'm going to be using the Maybelline, the same concealer I use underneath for my brows. I'm going to grab that and go in on my forehead. And this, depending on how high you want your highlight and how far you want to bring out your forehead um, depends on how further you up. So if you want more of a smaller illusion of a forehead, you don't go too high. Yeah, 
and going in. Okay, so for contouring my face, I am using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toast. Then grab it here. And forehead. And one there. On my nose, I don't really put too much either. Okay, and I am grabbing my e.l.f. small sipple brush, looks like this, and blending everything out. It's kind of like the number three, as you can say. So, see, it's one, so three. My nose contour, I'm using the e.l.f. small contour brush. This is like the best. I love this brush to contour your nose. Okay. So it took me about a couple months to really find and be happy with my nose contour and find a good technique for it. But I YouTube girls who had a very similar nose from mine and also just I like the way they shape it. I like the way it comes out. So you kind of just do your own research because obviously everyone's nose is different. So for me, the best technique I found was once you have that color... Um, the product on I stop right here so I don't go any further than here and then I bring it down and then just blend everything together and bring it downward and then just kind of blend it into your foundation and then the same on the other side And then one thing I would say is just keep your lines and your blending as symmetrical as possible because if you do a little bit more of, you're not really paying attention and it's a little crooked, your pictures will come out looking crazy. Okay, so I did do my mascara off camera. I just added mascara. I was using the L'Oreal Telescopic. I love this because Shorty does not have any eyelashes and if I when they do want to decide to come out they go downward instead of upward so this really helps bring out my um the lashes that i do have and then i just went over with total temptations and also um maybelline oh this is maybelline and i'm going in with setting my face with the air spun loose face translucent extra coverage coming this far And then again, the reason why I'm not putting too much is because I'm very dry, especially underneath the eye. I usually get eczema around that area, so I try not to put too much product on there. And then just grabbing a regular fan brush um, or any loose feathered brush to help sweep away any um, powder will work as well. And then just grabbing... So I'm using Coco Lashes in Soho. These are my absolute favorite lashes. Um, for events, I usually are something dramatic. I usually use these. Lately, I've been using them a lot more recently. Just because I haven't bought anything. 
I haven't really been on my lash game, so I've been just using these lately. And I'm using my Duo Lash in black. I rather, I prefer black using the white one just because it blends into your makeup more and I feel like you have a very small hint of um, top eyeliner on too. And tweezers as well. So, I'm kind of going to go into detail on how to put these on. Just because I taught myself. I didn't YouTube, I YouTubed it once but there was like no videos on how to do it so I kind of just taught myself. And the main thing I would recommend to remember is to let this glue dry because if you try to put it on there wet you'll just create a big mess and you don't really want to deal with that because it will irritate you. And I let it dry for about 20 seconds and at the corner. Sorry, the ending of my lash. And you want to be as close to the lash line as possible. And you see how it just stuck on? That's how you know it's ready. If it's dangling or doesn't want to stick on, um, it's not ready. So just take it off and just hold on to it and keep blowing on it more. But because it's ready, I'm going to move forward. And looking down... I'm just going to grab it and then just want to see, make sure it's up. And then you could, if you want to move it more towards the min middle, you can just grab it and pull it. And then just to make sure everything is in place. And then that's in place. And then bam. Okay, moving on to bronzer. I am using the matte the NYX Matte Bronzer in the color Deep Tan in number 5. And I am using my e.l.f. Complexion Brush. And that's going to go on top of my contour. You don't really want to put it on your contour, obviously. Just put it on top. I'm not using blush. I honestly never use blush just because I can never find a blush that wash that does not wash me out. And it's just feel like blushes. I just don't like them on me. Um, I'm more of I don't know. I just never really was never a fan of them. I just feel like highlight does enough for me, so I don't want to put too much on my too much color on my actual cheeks. So I just keep it very simple. So moving on to my favorite part, which is highlights. Um, I am using the Laura Geller. I know this is not really too inexpensive. This is, I believe I paid $20 for it. It's not too, too bad. But um, I couldn't really find a drugstore that I really loved. And I wouldn't want to film it. And it's just not be something I even use. So I'm going to stick to this. Um, it is in the color Gilded Honey. And I'm going to use my Morphe something 14. So the letters um, smeared off. But it is this one. Grabbing my Morphe highlighting brush. I'm going to wet it with a hydrating mist. Not a setting spray. A hydrating mist. And just spraying that. And you want to put it on the high points of your skin. Your cheeks and moving them you just want to stop right here you don't want to go too forward and I just put it at the tip of my nose So for my lippy, I am using the Morphe Matte Lipstick in True Story. This is a good dupe for Kylie's, I think it's brown sugar. I'm um, way cheaper, it's $10, and I feel like it's the same consistency. Ooh. Okay. I feel like it's the same consistency. Um, it stays on all day. The only thing I will say, it is very drying, just like hers as well. So if you are looking for a long wear this will be it of course you have to deal with the consequences because it does start crumbing at the end of the day 
and it does dry your lips. But I do overdraw my lips very, very gently. Um, starting from the bottom. And I do create more of the shape I want. So instead of just tracing my actual shape, I kind of just make a circle at the center. So I just focus on this and this. And then I get down. And then after you have that, then I do the corners. So I'm also using the NYX Soft Matte in... London. I'm only going to put it at the center of my lips just to bring them out more and make them look bigger. So just at the center. And I kind of just and blend it all together. And lastly, just setting my face with the NYX Dewy Finish. These are about like $8 as well or 5 bucks. I'm not sure. And I just spray my face. Okay, and I just kind of, after I do that, I kind of just go over anything I missed or anything that I kind of just feel like I want to bring out more and I'm going to go back in with the Laura Geller and a Morphe highlighting brush. It does not have the number, I apologize. And I'm just going to go in with the high bones of my brow. Again here, just bring them out more. And then the center of my eyes. Center of my eyes. And so that's the end of this video guys. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in. If you really loved what you saw, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks guys. Oh, thank you. oh. Way too far.